Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you have had a wonderful weekend. Dee, you are the first one popping in here, followed closely by Jackie. No, it's not a race. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Lisa. I hope you had a good weekend. I am just going to get us set up here, if I can find us. Remember last week I couldn't find um, our live. It was so crazy. Uh, let's see. Facebook changed everything again. Hi, Heather. Hi, Julie. I see Kathy popping in. Welcome, you guys. Debbie's here. Let's see if I can find my live. Nope, that's my live from last week. Okay, so let's go here. Yeah, I don't know what Facebook has done, but it's made it a little bit confusing. <laughs> there I am. Woo! Yeah, I don't know what oh, there we go. See, I'm whining about it right there. <laughs> I know, my hair is getting long, isn't it, Diana? Haley said the same thing over the weekend. She's like, Mom, your hair is getting so long. I didn't do my hair today. I came right out of the shower and... I took a whole bunch of stuff to Goodwill, and I took um, stuff to the Recycle Center, and then I went shopping to pick up just a couple more fall decorations. Haley and I had a really good time yesterday out shopping for fall decorations, and I got to spend the day with little Miss Val, even though I fed her a bottle, and then she slept all day. <laughs> As we were shopping, she like slept the whole time. But Steve got home. He went um, on a golf outing up to the UP, which is the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, which is right above Wisconsin, for those of you who may not be familiar with that UP terminology, but that's what they call them, UPers. Um, he went, he, he does this every fall with a bunch of guys and they have this big competition. He did not win. But he won his first year there. But he had a really fabulous time. And then he stayed at this place that, um, I don't know exactly if it has its own little, like, I don't know what you call them, little lodge buildings or little cabins, chalets, uh, little chalets, where you can rent a chalet. And he said that the ski lift goes right by the chalet. And he came home so excited. He said, oh my gosh, we need to get one of those probably in January for a three-day weekend and take Haley and Jared and then little Miss Molly because they all love to down... Well, Haley's a snowboarder. The other two are downhill skiers. And then me and Steve can stay at the lodge and watch little Miss Val. Or I might go skiing too. I'm a downhill skier. <laughs> I've never tried snowboarding. Steve tried it one time and it was not for him. <laughs> the bunny hill did him in. <laughs> yeah, Tina says the UP is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Remember um, like a month or so ago, we went up there with our bicycles to Marquette. And that was really fun. And I got to meet um, Con or see Connie again. I've already met her. But see Connie who watches on here. And that's how I met her. We had dinner with her and her husband. So, you know, it was pretty cool. So what'd you guys do this weekend? Did you have any big plans? We had pretty decent weather today. Yesterday, I think it, no, it was pretty nice. Yes. Oh, yesterday it was really hot and humid here. Craziness, right? But um, today it was pretty nice out. Steve spent most of the afternoon closing the pool. Complete sadness. Anytime he starts talking about closing the pool, I always tell him, don't you swear at me like that. <laughs> um, yeah, somebody just asked me a question about Ironwood. He went to George Young and then three other golf courses. I don't know. I don't know where he was. <laughs> I have no idea, but here's a funny story. I maybe shouldn't tell this. This is a family program. Plug the little children's ears. Okay, so funny story. One of the, there's a whole bunch of guys that fly in from um, Tennessee to go on this golf trip. And hi, Haley. Um, one of the guys got a phone number. Oh, gosh, should I really tell this story? Well, they went to a strip club. There, it's out. Steve did not go. Um, he just has, he says, I have a beautiful wife at home. I have no need for that. So, anyways, isn't that sweet? 
maybe he went. No, he didn't. He would tell me because I really could care less. But anyways, um, they went to a strip club and one of the guys got a phone number from one of the dancers. And this dumb boy texted this girl and the wife is at home in Tennessee and knows all the text messages because they come through on her computer. <laughs> It's not really that funny, but it was pretty funny, right? It's kind of sad, but pretty funny anyways. And um, he said, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. I guess I'll be getting a divorce when I get home. But anyways, the wife called the dancer and the dancer says, lady, people ask for numbers all the time. Nothing happened. You have nothing to worry about, but uh, you know, whatever. Anyways, that was kind of a little sketchy, right? <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, Mary says, sorry, you had to put the pool away. I know, it makes me so sad. Um, and next weekend, we start hunting already. Well, like, this, t yesterday, Saturday, was opening bow hunting here in Wisconsin. I didn't go, because I'm busy. Um, and I still don't really feel 100% yet. It's very strange. And I, I've never had anything take this long to get better. But um, this morning, I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you see my eyes all swollen up? Yeah. This morning I woke up, my eyes all swollen up, and it hurts. Like, it just, it feels like somebody punched me. And I told Steve that this morning. He's like, I did not touch you. <laughs> but, yeah, so I don't know all the weird things going on with me. Isn't it weird? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Sharon says, bad, bad boy. I know. It's like, how dumb can you be? Like, seriously? Anyways, there must be a lot of problems there to begin with, right? Um, she's monitoring his messages and he's getting numbers from dancers. Like, not my problem. <laughs> so, yeah, Cynthia says, what a dummy. I know, right? Totally with you. So, um, what else did we do this weekend? What did I do this week? Well, I spent this week, you guys would be so proud of me. Steve was gone, right? So I spent the week cleaning things out. Like the cupboard above my stove has the dish towels in it and then a bin with medicine in it. We always, I always kept it up there because I used to do daycare and I didn't want the daycare kids getting into the cough syrup and the Sudafed and all that stuff. So I took all of that out. Every time I put the towels in there, some would fall out because it's just a big old mess. I took all that out. I gave a bunch of stuff to Goodwill, threw away a bunch of stuff, got that cleaned out, got the recipe. I have a big, tall, like skinny um, cupboard and that had recipe books and pot holders in it and same thing you can barely get a recipe book out who I don't even cook <laughs> anymore so I gave all those to Goodwill we have Pinterest now I don't need any recipe books and um, got rid of all the the icky pot holders because you know Steve like he makes them disgusting they can be brand new and he'll do something with them and then they're gross and he's the reason why we can't have nice things. And I tell him that all the time. <laughs> and then we laugh and laugh. But it's true. So I got that cleaned out. I got a whole bunch of games out of the closet upstairs and took those to Goodwill. Cleaned out my closet and my bathroom, which had like 30 bath towels in it. We now have like eight. So that felt really good. Decorated for fall, which I really, you know, I do a couple things every year. But I, I really went all out this year. Because we're starting to turn our house, this old house, back into a home with the remodeling and all this stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about it again. So that's a really good feeling. And oh my gosh, my fall decorations are really pretty. I need some new furniture pieces, but the fall decorations are really pretty. So um, I did that. I just did a lot, a lot of work. And then Steve came home yesterday with my new Explorer. So I got to finally drive it, and I took Haley for a ride to shopping. She loves it. <laughs> and then I found out today that two of my bear hunter friends um, are just getting over COVID also. <sighs> so they have no idea where they got it, but I don't know. He's, um, he's a prison guard, so... You know, he's around a lot of people, and uh, she also works with the public. So, yeah. I don't know. Anywho, um, I've got prizes from last week. I've also got a lot of mail to share with you. 
So I'll do that um, at the end. So if you guys want to hang around and see all the beautiful cards that I've received. Um, I got, I'm still getting congratulations for my million dollar sales. And uh, several people sent me, um, thank you, I was going to say thank you cards, but get well cards. Thank you guys so much. That is just so sweet and thoughtful and yeah, made my day. So winners from last week. We have some wonderful gems. These are fantastic. I think these might be part of our next online class that we're doing that I do with Dina and Barb. And golly gee whiz, I can't remember. Oh, oh, we're using the Arrange a Wreath. Remember I had Molly die cut all these for me? So we're using this bundle. And I'm thinking maybe these are going to be part of it. It rings a bell. You know, I have the worst memory ever. But, okay, so winner from last week for leaving a comment. Our winner is Barb Wald Smith from Akron, Ohio. These will be coming your way. Barb, I don't know that I have your address. So if you could please email me. My email is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp above dot com. If you could email me your address, I will send these as soon as I get that. Congratulations. And then the second way you can win fabulous prizes from me is when you share this video. And you can actually click on the share button right now and share the video. Oh, I see Kathy and Patty coming in and Joanne. Welcome, you guys. Oh, hang on. My paper's falling off. I'm messing it up. And um, for sharing my video last week, my winner, <laughs> I got the paper all messed up, is Jan Vlack from Phillips, Wisconsin. And I was excited to see your name pop up there, Jan, um, because we're going to be up in Phillips. I don't know what I did here, but we're going to be up in Phillips next weekend. Well, not Phillips, but Park Falls, very close to you, right? So that's exciting. I have some of the... Um, birthday bonanza designer series paper this is all cut to six by six beautiful beautiful fun birthday paper so I'm gonna set that back here so I don't lose track of it and then you also get entered to win fabulous prizes when you place an order with me and for placing an order in the last week I have this crackle background stamp this is really fun Alice Martinez of Matawan, New Jersey. This is going to be yours. And I do have your address. So no need to send it to me. Oh, and did I say that Barb, I think I, I told Barb I needed her address. And Jan, I might need your address too. So if you guys could just pop me an email, kelly at a stampabove.com. That would be wonderful. And we'll get those out as soon as I can. I see Lori and Sue Eileen coming in. And Mary, welcome. All right, I think we might be ready to stamp. I'm excited about the projects that I have to share with you tonight. So let me see, which one am I gonna do first? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I have a new kit class that's going to be coming out. I think I'm gonna put the um, all the forms the form and the information probably on my blog tomorrow in the in the tab that says online classes. Friday, Ashley out of Canada and I will be doing a little blog hop and we are going to be using the Have a Hoot bundle. So I'll be talking about that a little bit more tonight. We're gonna use that stamp set to make um, a card tonight too. But I wanted to share with you, oh, I'll share that in a minute. No, I'll do it right now. Oh, here, I can share this. A little scattered, sorry. Um, the So Much Happy. I wanted to remind you guys, I do have some of these kits left. Isn't this cute? Let me see if I can hmm, mirror my screen. Let's see if Kelly remembers how to do this. It's been a while. There we go. Aren't these just adorable? Now, these are swap cards that I received in the mail. Um, I can't find the cards that I made with these, but I have an online kit class using the So Much Happy. And it includes the um, um, Playing With Patterns Designer Series Paper. You get a full pack of that. 
You also get a pack of the Playing With Patterns ribbon combo and the resin dots that match. The kit is $49, and if you would like to add on the bundle that includes a really cute whoops, stamp set and the dies, then the total is $102. So I just wanted to make sure you know about that. I've still got some of the So Much Happy left, and it is a fantastic little bundle, you guys. So, um, then... Let's see, which card am I going to make? Where did I go? I'm not making that one first. I'm going to make this one. And we'll talk about that so much happy kit because we're going to use those dies tonight. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. Have you guys seen these slim line? I'm going to unmirror my screen. The slim line cards are all the rage right now. And I just so happen to have gotten a couple of them in the mail this week. And that, of course, sparked my, oh my goodness. I need to make some of those because they're really cool and fun. So that is exactly what we're going to do tonight. And we are going to be using the Have a Hoot bundle. And I'll turn this around so you can actually read it. And also the dies I'll show to you. And then I'm going to incorporate the Playful Alphabet because I think everybody should have a big alphabet and a little alphabet. And this is a little alphabet. It's great for personalizing your cards, and sometimes you just need a personalized card or for making your own words, which is what I did with it. Okay, we're going to flip the screen around now. So if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes, and um, I'll let you know when you can open them. And here we go. Get this all set up. Make sure that I'm fairly straight. I hate it when my screen isn't straight. It makes me crazy. And get my cord out of the way. I am plugged in. Everything seems to be working tonight. Yay! Okay, so you can open your eyes. Sorry, I always forget about that part. Now, my volume is going to get a little bit lower because I'm on this side of the phone now instead of um, facing the screen. So you may need to turn up your volume. This is the Have a Hoot stamp set, and it is just stinking adorable. There is also a matching set of dies, and there's a couple elements in here. So you've got dies that, that die cut this, and this, and this, and this. And you've also got these three tags, which are really cool, and I'm going to show you how these work. And then this adorable little spider web. And then there's also a couple little sprigs for either branches or um, greenery for Christmas. So in here we have Halloween, fall, and Christmas, which I think is a great, um, great little combination. Okay. Oh, my screen isn't. Yeah, Debbie says that's a cute little bundle. Marsha's asking, how do you mirror on your phone? Well, it's kind of a little process, Marsha, but if you would like to message me later, I would be happy to give you the steps to do that. All right, here we go. Where's my card stack? Right here. So, we are going to be making a slimline card tonight, and I chose to use Gorgeous Grape. Let me get out my bits and pieces here. I also have, oh, by the way, this is um, seven by seven and a half. Then I have a scrap of our black glitter paper. You get this in 12 by 12. You get two sheets of it, and it is called black glitter paper. Now, you guys know that when you go to my online store, you can type in the name of any of the products that I'm using and they will pop right up for you. So it used to be that we always use the item code, but now you can just type in the name of something and it works really good. And you know what? I think I forgot my white sheet, so I'll have to make one of those. Then I have, this is Smoky Slate. This is three and three eighths by seven and three eighths. Hang on a second, I'm gonna... Oh, somebody took my new paper cutter. Huh. I wonder who grabbed that. 
my friend Rachel was over this week helping me, so she probably did. So I've got my old paper cutter out here. Don't get confused by it. I need to have a piece of Whisper White that is three and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And this blade is shot on here. I guess it cut okay. It usually leaves some little frayed edges because um, that's why we discontinued this paper cutter because we can't get blades for it anymore. Oh, as long as I have this here, I can score also. Okay, so you're gonna take, whoops, take your gorgeous grape cardstock and on the side that is seven inches, yep, which is this one, we're going to score at three and a half. So this is the seven inch side up against my um, base. I almost cut it. Did you see me? I almost brought in the cutter and you're going to score that. Okay, now I can put this away. And Connie's asking, how do you mail slim line cards? Well, I'll tell you what. I got a slim line card in the mail in an envelope this size over the weekend. So you can do that. You can also, I think, get business size envelopes. You know, those are the longer ones. They'll fit in there. I'm pretty, yeah, they're, they'll fit in there also. So that's, you know, it, it's a, that's a little challenge with the, the slimline cards, but I think they're cool enough that it's worth it. <laughs> okay, here we go. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my stamping done. Oh, and I need some scraps here. Let's grab this. Oh, look, it's a heart. Yay. Okay, so this is the inside of my card. I'm using Memento Black ink because we're going to be um, coloring with the Stampin' Blend markers. I'm going to use the Have a Hoot on Halloween. Love that font. You guys know I am a font girl. And then I'm going to take this cute little owl image and I'm going to stamp that so that it's kind of going off the bottom of my card down here, just like that. Okay. Then we need, oh, and for those of you that may be new to me, this is one of our piercing mats. It's called a Stampin' Pierce mat. You can find this in the store. I just wrap this with um, printer weight paper so that I'm not stamping on the mat, but that's what I like to use to stamp on. It's my little cushion. Okay, so we're gonna do that little image. We're gonna do this cute little owl with a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern, and then this little owl with the cape on. And that's not gonna fit on there that good, hang on. Got lots of scraps over here, so we'll grab another there we go. Okay. Woo. And I'll just put these back over here. Now, there's lots of coloring involved with any, you know, a, a line image stamp like this most of the time. Okay. So, um, we're going to do our coloring. And what I've got here, I'm going to give you guys the colors that I'm using. I've got Daffodil Delight. These are our Stampin' Blend markers. Highland Heather is my purple. Pumpkin Pie is my orange. Smoky Slate is my gray. And then I've got the Dark Crumb Cake. And the Dark Crumb Cake, all I'm going to do with that is the pumpkin's stem. And then, let's see, let's do our purple here. We'll do our purple cape. Now you guys know when I use these markers, I like to, oh, the cape could be a COVID mask, Joan said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How very appropriate for the times, right? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so when I use the Stampin' Blends, I like to use the lines that Stampin' Up! has provided for us. I will usually mark on those, and then I go around the outside of the, or I mean, you know, the edge, the edge. And if you want to just color a little bit more like that, okay? So when you do this owl, this is also part of the cape over here. So I use the dark. 
Then I come in with my light and I blend. Let me do, I'm just gonna color this real quick and then I'll hold it up so you can see it a little bit better. Now, when you only blend that much, can you guys see that good? When you only blend that much, you can definitely see the dark purple lines, right? It's not that attractive, I don't think. So you want to continue to color over where those dark lines are so that they will blend. And that's why we call these blending pens. And when you do that, it will get rid of that drastic contrast between the light and the dark. Listen to all my fancy words tonight. And somebody told me that if you're pushing hard enough to make your markers squeak, you're using them, there's too much pressure. I use too much pressure. But I like the squeak. <laughs> so I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> and now do you see the difference there? Doesn't that look so much nicer? Yeah, and you can definitely see the shading around the outside edges. And it really makes your stuff look very artistic. So now I'm going to come in. And again, I'm using the lines that Stampin' Up! has provided on my owl. And now I'm going to come in with the light smoky slate and color my owl in and just keep blending until there aren't those definite lines between the light and the dark. Okay, then I've got my dark daffodil delight and I see Matthew is on here and, and Matthew said good morning from Australia. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> now I don't know you guys if I will be getting the cards that we're making tonight uploaded to my blog tonight or not because I've been going to bed really early. Like last night I went to bed at 8.30 and I'm almost embarrassed to say but I didn't get up until almost 9. Isn't that crazy? But I'm still feeling rather tired so and um, like you guys said, Kelly, take care of yourself. And I certainly am. I'm really listening to what my body is telling me to just back off a little bit. Except all the cleaning I did last week. <laughs> but, you know, can't keep, a, can't keep a busy girl down, right? Okay, so here comes my next little owl. I'm going to color that the same way that I did the last one. It's just that it's a little tinier. Here's my little... Daffodil Delight for the feet and the beak. I colored my spider um, the light gray color. Now here comes my light gray. And again, just blending. I don't know if you guys want to watch me color all this stuff because it's pretty monotonous, right? I, I mean, I really enjoy coloring, but I don't know that you really enjoy watching me <laughs> color all the things. Um, the last thing I want to show you, though, is my pumpkin. So I took the Dark Daffodil Delight and I colored the inside of the jack-o'-lantern's body parts. How about that? Okay, so I've got the eyes and the mouth, and don't forget that cute little nose. Oh, and this over here is a little piece of foot. That's the owl's little feet. At least that's what I think they are. And now I'm going to come in with my dark pumpkin pie. And there's a little line around the edge of the jack-o'-lantern cutouts. Can you see that? So I just take my dark pumpkin pie, and I'm just going to... Fill that in. Now I'm going to come around and again, just like Stampin' Up! provides us with these artistic lines, those are the lines that I use my dark on. Then I'm going to come in with my light and I am going to color over my dark pumpkin pie. What I like to do is I usually like to go through, get everything with one coat on it very, very carefully so I don't like make, you know, places that I don't want to be orange, orange or get out of the lines. And then I'll blend. 
And I just think that little pumpkin looks so stinking adorable, doesn't it? Okay, so enough of that. These are our three pieces. And then we are going to start doing a little die cutting here. So this with the little dot there, that is our cute little owl with the spider. And I have some washi tape here. Now, I always take my washi tape and I put it on my pants and pull it off and put it on my pants and pull it off so that there's barely any sticky left. Otherwise, the pressure when you push it through your die cutting machine will um, rip your paper when you go to take this off of there. The other tip that I have for you, and you know what? We have a magnetic plate and mine just got delivered today. I forgot to grab it. Um, I'll show that to you on Wednesday. I'll probably have a tip video on Wednesday all about our new stamp and die cut and emboss machine. So I'm going to take this and put it right over my spider because there's a lot of metal there. And if you ever have your washi tape tear your image, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about when I say there's a lot of metal there because that metal is going to keep that tape from imprinting onto my owl or my pumpkins. And then, is this the last one? Yep, this is the last one. So all of these can be die cut. Now this one we don't have a little um, shape that's notched out. So I'm just gonna take my washi tape, try to put it on the edge of my die, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna die cut those. We're going to take the um, black glimmer paper and I really like this you guys it's thin you don't have any issues with it not die cutting because it's too thick or it has some type of a weird backing and it does not shed you will not have glitter everywhere and I love that right so I need a um, spider web here and then what else am I going to get? Oh, remember I talked about this playful alphabet set? So you can make your own words, well obviously, right? But I wanted the word boo. And so I took my B and then there's several different O's in here and I don't know what they're really for, but here's an O and it's a very, very round. Here's a very, very round one. Here's kind of a more of an oblong one. I use the oblong one and I need to cut two of those out. Okay, and then, let's see, this is the three tags that are all together. And what we're going to do with those is we're going to die cut those on the smoky slate layer. And they just barely fit in here. So I know it's tight, but it'll be okay. All right, so once we get all of those done, this is our smoky slate, okay. And where did my little tags go that I want to show you? Here they are. You also get these tags when you die cut this out of the front of your layer. So now, not only do you have this that you can work with to make cards, but you also have these three tags, which are super cool, right? Not going to do anything with these tonight, these three tags, and we're going to work with this but I'll probably show you something when I do the blog hop on Friday with the have a hoot and talk about my online kit class. So we're working with this. Um, oh boy. Let's see. Where is my spider web embossing folder? Hang tight. I know it's here somewhere because I've used it tonight. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Okay, this is the Cobwebs 3D embossing folder. And what, oh, I need to grab my machine. So hang on, we're gonna, we're gonna emboss that. Ugh, I almost dropped things. This is our new um, stamp and emboss, stamp and die and emboss machine. And today is the first day I actually used it because I really haven't been stamping much. You guys know, right? I've been kind of sick. And I really will. I'm, I'm very impressed with it so far. I will be giving you a run through on Wednesday of all the little goodies with the magnetic plate. But I love how it 
Um, the sides come in. It's got a nice handle on it. It doesn't take up a lot of storage space. So we're going to take this. I, my hair is like everywhere. Hang on. That makes me crazy. We're going to take this layer and we're going to put it in the cobweb 3D folder. Now, the thing that I love most about this embossing machine is that it's a little bit wider than our Big Shot was, so you're not going to chew up the edges. See, there's a little bit of room in there. You're not going to chew up the edges of your embossing folders when you run them through this way, and that makes me very happy. This is our specialty plate for the 3D embossing folders, and I'm going to run this through. Sorry about the jiggling. Hopefully when I get a new office, I'm going to have a more stable table that won't do that. And isn't that cool? I love that. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, I'm getting hot. What are you guys drinking tonight? I don't think I have good lighting here either. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Now. What we're going to do with this, I am going to um, get out the other bits and pieces that I already die cut so that, you know, this won't take five hours. <laughs> as much as I'd love to stamp with you for five hours, I think you guys would probably leave. <laughs> yeah, I could easily take you on for five hours, not kidding. So here's all our cute little bits and pieces that I die cut. Here comes the O, and like I said, that um, this playful alphabet set is one of those staples that everybody should have in their stamping arsenal, I like to call it. Oh look, there's another little spider. I want to save that. Okay, so let me find my other bin. I've got two projects I'm going to share with you tonight. Here it is. Oh, my ribbon. Do you guys see ribbon here somewhere? It's like, am I missing something? I should have glitter ribbon here. I know I used it. Oh, here it is. It was hiding under the embossing folder. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some of this glittered organdy ribbon. I love this stuff. It is perfect for your sparkly projects and I think it looks really neat with Halloween. So I'm just going to tie a knot. It's always challenging. I always wish I had another, somebody would give me their middle finger, right? <laughs> in a nice way. Not in a bad way. Okay, here we go. Alright, and then I'm just going to chop that off. So that covers up our seam of our um, spider web embossing folder. Now we're going to bring in our base. Hang on, I gotta move some stuff out of the way here because I don't want to lose any of my dies. You guys know how that is when that happens, right? It's like very, it makes grown women cry. <laughs> okay. First thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to take my spider web and I want my spider web to be right up here. So we're going to add some of our liquid glue. Another good thing to you, I should have done with this was put some of our um, adhesive sheets on this so that it turned it into a sticker. That's what I should have done, but I did not because I can't remember to do that. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to get some glue on my fingers. Hang on, let me wipe it on my pants. <laughs> Who else does that? <laughs> okay, uh, now I got glue back here, and that's what I hate. I hate when I get glue on my scissors, but I do. Anytime you need to clean your scissors or even your acrylic blocks, I like to use um, rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball, and it'll clean off any of the goofy stuff. Okay, so look at how cute that is, and that glitter is just spectacular, right? The other thing that I'm going to do is put my boo on right away. And I like to start at the edge with one of the O's. This would be a good thing to use the adhesive sheets with also. But again, I can't remember to do that. 
I need to set them like right on my die cutting machine. So I always question whether that would be a good use or not. Because it sure would make this easier to just pick off a back and make this a sticker, right? Here comes our little B. There's our little boo. Oh, I don't want my B to be crooked. There we go. Okay. Woohoo! Got it. Okay, next. This is a little. Now, we could just put this on here. Isn't this cute? Oh, look at it. It's way too long. How did that happen? Then, hang on, we gotta save this. I'm not doing all this over again. This is way too long, so hold on, I gotta cut it. I will make sure that I give you guys the right dimensions. Oh, things are falling. Okay, here we go. Whew. All right, <laughs> Woo! saved it. Do you guys ever do stuff like that? I have another boo-boo to share with you. When we get done making this card, I'll show you my, oh my gosh, when Haley stopped over today, I destroyed my entire card. You know, showing her what I was making, and yeah. And it happens. We are all there, I think. Okay, so here we go. Saved it. Thank goodness I didn't wait too long, because otherwise I would have had to die cut these letters again, because they would not have come off. Okay, there we go. There's our boo. Woohoo! Okay, so this layer is going to go right on here. Okay? And what I did, we could put this right on here and then we could add our little characters in here just fine. Okay? But I wanted to get a little fancy. So I took a pencil and I drew some lines in these two boxes. Okay, so can you see my lines on there? And then what I did is I took my little cape or COVID mask wearing owl <laughs> and I am going to stamp that right here. Okay, and then I took my other little owl with the spider in a tree who is not wearing a COVID mask. And I'm going to stamp that right here. Okay. Let's close this up. Now, we're going to put this on. We're ready to roll with this. And here we go. Now you could have erased those pencil lines before you did this if you want to, but you don't have to. There we go. I want to make sure that this is on here even. Okay, this is what we have so far. Now we are going to grab all our little bits and pieces here. This is my little pumpkin. And I specifically did not put glue on this edge over here so that I could slide my pumpkin in. So I'm going to put a little glue on the back of my pumpkin and make sure that I don't rub it all over the edge of my card here. And I'm going to kind of set my pumpkin down in here, just like that. Oh, got too much glue on there. It's not drying quick enough. There we go. Okay. These other two little owls, I'm going to put some dimensionals on. So there's my little owl. Here is my big owl. And then I like to use my take your pick tool to pop these backs off. Now this little owl is going to go right over top of the owl that is stamped here. Just like that. Same with this one. We're going to put that right over this owl that is stamped on here. How cute is that? And then here comes our moon. And we're going to put that right over the stamped moon. And here is our little spider 
Oops, that looks like a lot of glue. Hang on. I'm gonna use a little post-it note so that doesn't squirt out all over. This is what I do to just kind of pick up my glue if I get too much on. And make sure you put it in the garbage right away so it doesn't stick to your stuff and make a big mess. Who's done that? <laughs> yeah, that's a constant problem, right? There we go. Then, uh, we didn't color this yet. But I've got one that's done, and I'll show that to you. I'm not going to glue this in right now because I still have to color that little owl down here. Look at how cute that is. Oh, and look, this is too long, too. I cut both of them too long. So I'll redo my measurements to make sure. Let's see, the white. Hang on, let me look at this. I'll tell you guys right now. This is seven and a half. So I think it was supposed to be seven and a quarter by three and a quarter. Let me look at this one. Three and a quarter by seven and a quarter, and I cut mine wrong. But anyways, here's the one that's done, and I have this colored in. I colored my tree crumb cake. Isn't the stinking adorable? Love the glitter paper. Don't forget to add that to your order. It's called black glitter paper. Get yourself some of this fancy ribbon, too. Super, super cute. Have a hoot. Yeah. Adorable. Okay. Next card, I'll just leave that right up here. We're going to do another one here. And I'll finish this up. So I'll have two of them. And then I'll show you the two... Um, slimline cards that I got in the mail because they're really pretty and they are what sparked my creativity today. Okay, let me get rid of these and these. Oh, and I was going to show you. So Haley stopped over today and I was showing her my card and so I put this on here and I was setting my little pieces in so I could show her how I was going to make it and I dropped my stamp on my card. And she's like, oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. That wouldn't have happened if you would have been showing me what you were going to do. And I'm like, I know. Whatever, right? So, but this one, I cut different. I cut, I cut it with a big one at the top and the two smaller ones here. So, lots of different, you know, you've got some different options there, too. Okay, next card. Where is it? I know I just saw it. How is it that I lose this stuff? <laughs> this is so crazy, right? Okay, here comes our next card. This is also going to be a really fun one. We got all these pretty fall colors. Now, remember we talked about the So Much Happy Kit. And this is the die set that comes with the So Much Happy. You have two different size balloons, a star, a bow, a balloon string, some little stars, and these great little line elements with a banner, and then this die that die cuts happy. So there's a stamp set and a die set that you can add to your kit. Um, and I do have some of those left. Okay. Then, we are going to start here with Bumblebee cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just gonna fold this in half and burnish that edge. And then, I'm using plaid tidings. This is so pretty. I had somebody last week that was on here that said they don't like plaid. Well, that's okay. You can use a different kind of designer paper, but most people, do like plaid, and this plaid matches so many different colors. Now with my Have a Hoot kit class, not only do you have the option to add the stamp set and the Hootie Little Dies, <laughs> that's my name for them, Hootie Little Dies, you're also gonna get an entire pack of this Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper as well as the Playful Pets Trim Combo Pack. 
and Ashley and I decided to add this black and white twine and also the red because you have Christmas in here as well as fall Halloween, right? But with the black and white twine that's in here, you can actually color this any color you want it, right? So that's going to be part of our online class. I think it's going to be pretty cool. And then we're going to add all the trimmings, embellishments, because we thought these stars would be fantastic with Halloween. And then we've got lots of red here to go with the Christmas. And last but not least, you're going to also get one of these metal tins. Now, the online kit class comes with four different designs. You will get a pre-cut cardstock pack that has two of each card for a total of eight cards. So you get to make two of four different designs. And Ashley and I are each going to um, add an idea for the tin. So you'll get two tin ideas. So four, four different designs of cards for a total of eight cards plus two tin ideas. And I think these are gonna be fantastic for little gift cards for Christmas candy for Halloween candy for Valentine's candy just about everything the kit is going to be $49 it will be mailed to you um, around I'm thinking maybe the week of the 28th so that's only a couple weeks off and the PDF file will be available on September 25th and it has a private video for each one of the projects if you would like to add on the stamp set and dies, you can do that for an additional $61. So if you want just the kit, it's $49. If you would like the kit and the dies, the total is 49 plus 61, whatever that is. Math is hard, somebody figure it out. <laughs> okay. So there you go, that's gonna be my next kit class. It's gonna be adorable. Isn't that cute? This is so stinking cute. I love this. Okay, so let's get on with our class. Plaid Tidings Designer Series Paper, four by five and a quarter. Then I have a layer for the inside that's also four by five and a quarter. Then I've got just a scrap of this end here, okay? This is three quarters by four, and then this is one inch by four bumblebee and we are going to get the inside of our card stamped right away here so I'm gonna do the have a hoot have a hoot on Halloween and then we're going to add our inside decoration so here's my plan with this instead of just putting a plaid piece on here I thought let's make a little mat for it Again, the mat is one inch, the plaid paper is three quarters by four. And we're just gonna add this right down here to the bottom. I like to leave just a little white margin on the bottom. And then I'm gonna trim this edge off. And we're gonna add this right to our card inside. Super easy. Pretty spectacular when you open a card and it looks like this. And again, that little piece just came off the bottom of the layer we're going to put on the front. So great way to use your scraps up. Okay, next we are going to take a scrap of Whisper White and we're going to stamp it with the owl. Okay. Just like that and then we are going to die cut it with the stitch shaped circle okay and some other things that we need to do are um, we're gonna die cut a large scallop okay we're also going to take this scrap and die cut the happy, okay? And here comes our happy. That's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. So you would trim this 
to make it even. We're going to also use, where did my, oh, here they are. Okay, look at these. These are the, what are they called? Um, well written, word wishes. These are the word wishes dies and they have all of these words in them. Just so happens there's a Halloween in there and I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be perfect for the cards that I'm making tonight. So we're going to die cut our Halloween out of our black glimmer paper. And when we do that, here it is. Super cute, right? And here comes our owl that's die cut with the stitch shapes. And next, we have a little trimming to do. So I just I thought, what am I gonna do with these? I'm just gonna take them and cut my letters right off of here. So this way I can use the letters from my happy. Now you might have to trim just a little bit here. Okay. Oops, I got a little little hair on my P. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to cut our letters off just like that. Now this is just a different way to use, hang on, I got glue on my scissors, to use the happy. And of course, it's not just about happy birthday or happy anniversary or whatever. You can do any kind of happy. And let's see, let's bring this back in here. So here's the happy with the top and the bottom on it, right? And here's the happy die cut out of a large piece. So this is just, the piece was this big and they die cut the happy in it. Really cute, right? Okay, so here's my idea. Oh, we need to color our owl and this time I'm going to be using rich razzleberry we almost didn't have rich razzleberry you guys because I couldn't find my markers but somebody put them in the drawer behind me instead of where I keep them right over there so whew, glad I looked there so this is my rich razzleberry and I just thought this would look nice with the designer paper and don't forget this part right here is the cape and then I'm going to grab my lighter color. And... Here we go. Okay, I'm just looking at comments here, see if I'm missing anything. I probably missed a whole bunch. Okay, I know I missed stuff, but you guys know it's really hard to stamp and do all the things, right? <laughs> That's a challenge. Stamp and monitor and, oh my Lord. Okay, so I've got crumb cake, and this is the dark crumb cake for my little branch. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring in my dark daffodil delight for the little moon. Oh, I just went out of the line. Hate it when I do that. So that's why we have a color lifter. Yay me. It's better if you do the color lifter right away when you make a mistake because it seems to lift it better. Okay, and then here comes, hmm, I think instead of making my owl, um, let's see, instead of making my owl gray, I'm gonna make it brown. So this is my dark. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use bronze instead. That'll be cool. This is our bronze Stampin' Blend, and I really like it. It's a really kind of a nice, rich color. I'm just going to come in here and give my 
pull out a little bit of shading going on. Okay, so that's that's what I did. And now I'm going to come in with my, let's see if this is going to be too dark. Nope, I think it's going to be fine. Yep, I like this color a lot. Keep my little eyeballs white. There we go. And last but not least, I have my little feet. There we go. Okay, now we can glue this onto our glitter. This is from the Layering Circles. This is the scallop one. And I used a kind of a bigger one because I really wanted to see that glimmer of paper um, peeking out from behind there. And, okay, are we ready to put this together? I haven't actually made this card yet, you guys, so. <laughs> we are stamping on the fly tonight. Here comes my beautiful plaid tidings paper. I love, I really do love this plaid. It's just gorgeous. And you get an entire pack of it with your kit class. We, a lot of times we will split the um, designer paper into two packs. But um, lately we've been giving a whole pack just because your options are so much better when you have more to work with with the designer paper. And it saves a lot of time of splitting the packs in half because that's kind of tedious. Okay, so here we go. Here goes our little owl. Oh my gosh, it's so cute already, right? Here's our inside, that looks nice. Now, we are going to take our happy, and this was my idea. I wanna put my happy over here. And here comes, I always like to do a dry fit first, make sure everything's going where it should. And there's my way. Okay, then I thought it'd be neat just to bring our Halloween in right here and kind of layer it over our happy. So that looks good. Let's get this glued down so we can see if I have a good idea here or if I should have made it ahead of time <laughs> and said no. <laughs> you guys ever do that where you finish a card and you're like, yeah, it's just not working for me. Some days are better than others. I was stamping, when was it, Friday night maybe? Um, because I'm in some virtual swap groups and um, I had to make some cards for our promotion right now. Right now, when you order our discount shopper kit, not only do you get free shipping, you get $125 in any product you wanna pick out for $99, free shipping. You get a paper pumpkin coupon that you can redeem for the current paper pumpkin kit. But you also get uh, two sets of eight cards each, cardstock, all cut and ready for you to make. So Stampin' Up! is hoping you would invite friends over and have them stamp with you, okay? But you can make them all yourself. It's, there's no rules. And you get two stamp sets included. And one of them is this one, which is called Queen Anne's Lace. I don't know where my other one went, but I was using it and making cards with it. So I'll be sharing those with you a little bit later this week. But you get two stamp sets and a pack of rhinestones, all for $99, you guys. So being a part of my team is so much more fun when you're part of something bigger. Oh, I think I like this. So if you're interested or you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask me. Also on my blog in the right hand column, if you happen to be on a laptop or computer, a stampabove.com, in the right hand column is a $99 kit graphic. And when you click on that, it'll take you right to all the details about the kit. It answers all, it's got a question and answer. It answers just about every question you could think of. It's really fun. 
being part of my team is a blast. And I hope you'll think about joining me. And, you, oh, and I forgot to tell you, you get a 20% discount on all your future purchases. So, like, who doesn't want a 20% discount? Plus, when we have stuff on clearance, you still get 20% off the clearance stuff and 20% off sales stuff. <gasps> what do you guys think? Did I do okay? Is that not just the cutest little thing ever? I wasn't sure how that was going to turn out, but I think I really like it. That was kind of a nifty little idea. Yay! The colors do work. Thank you, Donna. Yes, super cute. Okay, now I will get all of these details typed up for you. I'll take still photos. I'll have a complete shopping list. You guys know I always appreciate your orders. And I will have that on my blog probably tomorrow. I'm not thinking I'm going to have all the energy I need to do that tonight. But I do want to share with you my mail that I got. Look at how pretty that is. These are so cute. And I'll also have all the details about my newest um, kit class. Great for Christmas, fall, Halloween. Love this have a hoot. Everybody loves little little critters, right? These are stinking adorable. Okay, so let's get. Oh, I was going to show you the cards that I got in the mail that that um, inspired me to make a slimline card. This beautiful thing is from my friend Denise. And Denise is the one that I go to visit in Arizona in the winter. She's been home all summer, and I've only seen her like once. So we keep saying we need to do lunch, but isn't that so pretty? And this is another slimline card. And then I got this beautiful card from Sue Harvey. Now, how fun are those colors? This is our Celebrate Sunflowers. This is the die set that goes with the stamp set right? Look at how cool that is. I do have a few Celebrate Sunflower online kit pre-cut cardstock packs left for that online class. But Sue wanted to congratulate me on my million and uh, she can't wait to see what I make for my stamp set. But isn't that so pretty you guys? So that's what inspired me to make a slimline card. And I like these so much You'll be seeing more of them from me, I promise, because I think they're very unique and they're very trendy right now. Okay, next, my mail. Let's look at my mail. Oh, I gotta show you guys this. You're gonna just, holy cow. Look at this. I hope you can see it and it's not glaring at you too bad. This was sent from one of my team members, Jody. And is that not incredible? This is a shadow box, and she made it congratulating me for my million dollar sales. And look at that. That's the badge that I have on my blog. You're kind of a big deal. Hip, hip, array. The crown is perfect. And then squirrels and nuts. <laughs> and my owl. <laughs> I just thought this was amazing. I was shocked when I got it in the mail. How It's just so cool, right? So cool. Okay, so then... Jody sent me a beautiful card, of course, to go along with it. And look at how pretty this is. Yeah, I love this. Again, with the Celebrate Sunflowers, congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. I'm so happy for you. I'm honored and proud to know you and be part of your team. Here's to two million. Isn't that sweet? And look, she used a tiny little strip over here. I really like that, the designer paper. And she did her flip. Yeah. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, Jody. You are just the sweetest. Then I got another beautiful card. This is from Cheryl Thomas. She's from Ohio. And look at how gorgeous that is. I think we're going to be making this one. I think you guys will really like that. It's uh, Maybe I'll do it for next week. And again, congratulations on my million. And then my friend Lori Krause, bless her heart, when I was sick, I have a bunch of obligations that it's not just all about Kelly, you know, goofing around and making cards when she feels like it. When I was sick, I um, 
needed some help and Lori asked what she could do to help me and one of the things was to make my paper pumpkin a paper pumpkin kit card an alternate idea for me and this was the one that she made for me isn't that nice it's a shaker this was from the last paper pumpkin kit and then she sent it to me but she made it for me because I just I was sick <laughs> and that's what we do for each other we really do even though we're all in competition against each other we really do help each other out we are a big family and it is wonderful to know that people have your back right I love love that oh and matching envelope yeah that's paper pumpkin okay next whoops Hang on, I gotta get the note. Here's another beautiful card. This is from Debbie. And I love those beautiful gold foils. Holy cow. And Debbie wrote me a little note. Um, she had was ordering an online class from me and she sent me this card with her payment. Yeah, so thank you so much, Debbie. This is beautiful. And then, uh, do you guys recognize this card? Because I made it. Yeah, this is from my mom. Get well soon. Love you to the moon and back. Hope these help. Oh, she sent me some Zycam packets. So, sweet mom. Gotta love mom. <laughs> this is from Trisha McMaster. And she put a little note on here. Pull down gently. Are you ready for this? Oh, hang on. Oh, I had it moving. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Look at that. Look at those butterflies. Is that not so cool? Yeah. You know how I am about things. I could play with stuff like this forever. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Um, and it says, thank you for putting me in touch with Cindy. She got a bow jig and she said, congratulations on achieving your million dollar goal. Isn't that cool? Love it. All right, here's another beautiful card. This is from my friend Heather. Heather Kohler, thank you so much. She's sending me get well wishes. You are the sweetest. Here, this one is from Janice Kellerjohn. Kellerzon. I gotta remember how to say that right now. Ready? Look at how pretty that is. <gasps> yeah, and this was a get well. Yeah, isn't that pretty? And this is the, um, what's that paper called? Feels like frost. Yep, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I see. I must have got one of my hairs stuck in there. I do that a lot. <laughs> and this one is coming from Teppy. Teppy is a member of my team also. She's from Arizona and she sent me a get well card. So thank you so much, Teppy. That was so sweet of you. Then I got this beauty. Oh, I love the way she used the paper, right? These are just rectangles behind there. And it's so such a great use of designer paper. This card is from Sandy Young. Look how pretty that is. Oh my lord, I love the colors absolutely gorgeous this isn't just a thank you card it's a hug with a fold in the middle isn't that sweet thank you so much sandy and then we have from janet whalen look at that prettiness there's that glimmer paper so proud of you you did it congratulations <laughs> you reached your goal thank you so much look at how pretty that inside is too Little strip of that designer paper. This is the peacock feather. Love it. Then we have a beautiful butterfly card. This is from Linda Morrison. Oh my gosh. She's from Sun City, Arizona. Absolutely love this. Get well card for me. Thank you so much, Linda. I really appreciate it. And then, oh, so pretty, right? This is from Charlie Rupp. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Love this. Congratulations on the million. And she wanted to know when my stamp set will be released. We really don't know. 
So it's a while, right? I know, I think Dina hit her million last year in, I want to say January, or maybe it was this January. I don't remember. No, it was last year, I think. And her stamp set is coming out in the January spring mini catalog. So it takes quite a while. But thank you so much. Here's another one with the little um, critters here and the feels like frost paper. So pretty. This is from my friend Carolee Crab. This balloon is special. It's filled with helium. Thank you, Carolee. I really appreciate that. Then we have this beautiful little card. This is from Peg Herrick. Peg is from New Hampshire. Isn't that pretty? And she was thanking me for the stamp set that she won. You are very, very welcome. And then we have this beautiful card. And this is from Kathy. Kathy Pinky, I believe. I think so. Isn't that pretty? I love how she roughed up the edges on here. It makes it look like, you know, like kind of like a, a palm tree. They're all kind of rough. Very, very pretty. Congratulations on the million dollar sales. Thank you so much. Oh, look at the inside too. Little decoration. She's got another layer under here. This is very, very pretty. Yeah, Kathy Penny. Penny. Very pretty. Thank you, Kathy. Ooh, this is a pretty one, too. This is from one of my friends, team members, Debbie Peters. Gorgeous Debbie, and it was a get well. Yeah, Debbie and her husband also had COVID. Here comes another one from Belinda Bosch. Wow, look how pretty that is. I love that edgelet, right? And look at this one. And then she like sponged just a little bit of color here. That is really attractive. And she is wishing me get well wishes. Thank you so much. We're almost at the end, you guys. Almost there. This is from my friend Sam Simlack. So she is also sending me get well wishes and I met Sam, I think it may be at my very first convention in Orlando, Florida, 16 years ago. And we have been convention buddies ever since. So anytime we see each other at convention, we get to sit down and, and chat and catch up with each other. She lives in San Diego and she's a demonstrator also. Thank you so much, Sam. And then, this is from my friend Sue Molden. Isn't that cute? Love the flamingo. Welcome back to the land of the living. She said, I really miss your smiling face and tiara online. How sweet. Thank you so much, Sue. Then I got this card came to me from New Zealand. Look at the old fashions. Is this not cool? And another, oh, this is, a, I knew I had another slimline card. This is another slimline card. And remember, somebody asked me, I think maybe it was Connie, um, how would you mail that? This is almost like a business size envelope, number 10 envelope, and that's how Joanne mailed hers. Look at that fancy. Isn't that cool? She knows I love old fashions. And she says, congratulations, you did it on reaching your one million. I look forward to watching you reach your second. And it was great to hear that Dina placed the last order. <laughs> yeah, if you guys missed that story, my friend Dina um, actually went online and placed the order that put me over the million. So how spectacular is that, right? This is so, so cool. Thank you so very much, Joanne. Absolutely gorgeous. And last, but certainly not least, one of my team members, Lisa, dropped this off for me. Look at this envelope. Isn't that cool? And it says, oh, happy day. And look at this. One million. Congratulations. Isn't that fun? And she wrote on the back. 
It says, congrats on achieving your one million in sales. We knew you could do it. I was saving, hoarding this paper for a special occasion. I even fussy cut for you, which I hate. You are worth it though. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. This is just the sweetest. Love all of these cards, you guys. All right, so anybody has any questions, please don't forget to share this video. You can share it now. You can share it later on YouTube. I will get this loaded up. I'll have still, um, still photos of the cards that we made tonight with a shopping list and all the colors and dimensions and all the things. Um, no later than tomorrow afternoon. I'm thinking I, I might work on it tonight. You guys know how I am, right? <laughs> I do not like to put things off. Yeah, it's been really fun stamping with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's a great thing to do on a Sunday night. Okay. I think I'll let you go for tonight. It's a fabulous week. I'm hoping to get a video on Sunday. Um, I haven't done a tip video in a while, and that's because you guys told me to get better and take it easy, and I really have been. So, um, see if I can get a tip video out. Watch for my video on Friday. It's going to be a little blog hop between me and Ashley Pfeiffer. Ashley is out of Canada, and it will be all about the Have a Hoot Kit class. So, I hope you guys are going to love this as much as I do. I have had so much fun making cards with this. Yay! Okay, have yourselves a wonderful week, and I will see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.